is luxury homes stately mansions sprawling estates beautiful yes expensive yes but are the owners paying enough in taxes and tonight a kdk investigation asks that question after uncovering some information that may make you angry if you feel that you are paying the right amount in property taxes we discover there's a big disparity between what the owners of these mansions say their homes are worth and the allegheny county's evaluation and as katie investigator andy sheehan reports that's giving some high-end property owners a big break when it comes time to pay their taxes Take a drive down this secluded road in Franklin Park and you'll find one of the most impressive homes in the region. Realtors tell me it must be worth at least a million dollars. So you might be surprised that it's assessed at a third of that, giving the owner a $14,000 a year break on his taxes. The borough of Franklin Park agrees with that statement. Uh, we knew that when we, uh, it was brought to our attention that, that the house was worth much more. The borough appealed to the county where they admit they messed up by looking at some bad data. Not surprising, says the assessment director. It's kind of uh, improbable that with 1.8 billion bits of information collected on a half a million parcels, that every bit of information we have is going to be 100% accurate. But our investigation found that this mansion is more the rule than the exception that after two revaluations costing you, the taxpayer, nearly $40 million, higher-end homes in this county remain grossly underassessed. Consider this house in Sewickley. It recently sold for $880,000, but just last year, the county assessed it at just $250,000, allowing the owner to skate on $12,000 a year in taxes. Or take this beautiful home in Kilbuck. It recently sold for $758,000, yet the county had it assessed at only $324,000, giving this owner an $8,000 a year break on his property taxes. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair to, to, the, to the rest of us who are paying our fair share. In fact, with the help of real estate appraiser Michael Suley, we reviewed the recent sales of 100 high-end homes and discovered all but two sold for substantially more than their assessment, by an average of more than 30%. Take this house in Squirrel Hill. It sold for 830000 but it was assessed at 492000 And this house in Sewickley recently sold for $1.6 but it was assessed at 1.1. Gambino attributes the disparities to a recent rise in real estate values in the region. On properties that you're talking about, affluent properties, um, there, I would, I would challenge anybody to go out and look at any property in Fox Chapel and determine what the next sale price is going to be. But how did this Fox Chapel mansion suddenly double in value in just one year? It was assessed at 1.1 million, but recently sold for 2.2 million. The sale of this estate included a Bentley, but the assessment is still a million dollars too low. These may have gone up in value over the last year, but they didn't go up. 50%? No. No way. It's possible, but I doubt it. <laughs> but it's no laughing matter because you and I will be footing the bill for these estates and others for years to come. That's because unless a school district or a municipality challenges these property values, They'll stay under-assessed until the next valuation. That's three years from now. Tomorrow at 6, I'll take a trip to, such, to less affluent towns where people are actually losing their homes in part because they're over-assessed. I'm Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News. Allegheny County way undervalued for taxes, allowing the owners to pay a lot less than their fair share. Andy Sheehan says the county has a new technology that they hope will equal things out, but it won't be an immediate fix. The, the red showing to the fix a broken assessment system, the county is stepping into the world of information technology. Us being humans, it's easy for us to visualize off of a color-coded map in a cold spreadsheet. Using aerial data, the assessment department has mapped every property in the county and fed the information into a new $12 million computer system. Now assessors can see a property's assessed value, sales price, and condition just by clicking a mouse. This doesn't eliminate field work, believe me. There's still, people are still going to have leather on the streets. They're going to be walking the streets, but they're going to have this map in their hand. The new system is meant to weed out bad information. Problem is, current assessments will stay in effect until 2006, when 
the county undergoes its next revaluation. So this property, assessed at $1.1 million, but sold recently for twice that, will likely stay underassessed. But that doesn't fix the problem. It's like putting Band-Aids on a corpse. Real estate broker Mike Suley and I found more than 100 high-end homes that sold for well over their assessments. Again, those homes will probably stay under assessed for the next three years. These numbers don't lie. Someone has to do something sooner rather than later. And taking a three-year breather doesn't fix the problem. Chief Executive Jim Roddy acknowledges the problem and now favors yearly revaluations, although he was the one who agreed to take a three-year break. But I don't dispute the fact that at the upper end, we've got some properties that are underassessed, and we need to go to, a, to an annual assessment, and we need to rely more on sales figures uh, than on the model that we're using. But you supported the triennial assessment. We had to, and that was, that was so that we could, we could get past the 180,000 appeals. And so it's going to take at least another three years to get things right. But after that, the county promises bad assessments will be a thing of the past. You still may have one or two properties out of 500,000 you'll be able to come to me and try to embarrass me with, Andy. That still may happen. <laughs> um, uh, but our attempt is to try to do the best we can to just cleanse this file. And we'll continue to do that till the day this office, until I'm gone. Now, the county says it can't go after underassessed homes unless a municipality or school district challenges that low assessment. But Municipalities disagree, saying the county is free to revisit any assessment it wants. We'll see if our stories prompt any action in fixing these inequities before 2006. In the newsroom, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News. Coming.